Now then guys, welcome back to George's Minecraft channel, and indeed back to George's Brave New World for episode numero 3. And we built this in the last episode, or at least we started building this in the last episode, where I am calling the Autobahn, not to be confused with German motorways. And what we did is we have sugarcane growing underneath us, and we put like a little pumpkin farm on the top, or an automatic one. And what I want to do, I want to get this building finished today, basically. We're just going to block these sides up here, because when the pumpkins do grow, and they flop over, and the pistons break them, they're going to, some of the pumpkins are going to get kind of, they're just going to chill on this little ledge up here, or uh, at least they might do. So I'm just going to block this up to keep all the pumpkins in, so the collection system won't miss a single one. I'm not sure how the light level's going to affect the growth of them, uh, we'll just see. I also want to do some work in here, the sugar cane's growing nicely, we haven't got any pumpkins growing yet. But yeah, I want, I want this just to be a little bit more organised. But before we get to any of that, I'm going to need some iron, and we, we barely got none, because uh, we used it all. So I'm going to have to go mining, grinding again. It wouldn't be an episode of George's uh, Brave New World if we didn't start with the grind. Okay, so an hour or two, maybe, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, we've finished mining. And we haven't we haven't done so bad, actually. I'm pretty impressed with what we managed to come out with. 24 diamonds, that's good. But uh, we got us iron that we, we're going to need for hoppers. And we've got some other goodies as well. Coal, lapis, gold, all that, uh, all that good stuff you get from down in the mines. Let's just head back up real quick. And uh, let's see what kind of... We have some stuff left over from last time. So let's see what our grand totals are. It's also daytime, which is always good. And let's head up to our little our little shanty shack here. And let's see what we've got. Uh, also, before I do that, I just want to see if anything's grown. I'm not sure if these chunks are loaded while I'm down in the mine. We've got no pumpkins. Uh, have we got any sugar cane? I can't remember if that was the same as before or not. Anyway, uh, we have no pumpkins, so... I'm wondering if having no light in here is affecting that. I'm going to have to figure out a way where we can let light in without the pumpkins. Cause that's the thing, if you put a window or a fence post in, they can still get stuck on the edge. So we'll get to that in just a little bit. But anyway, let's see what, uh, how much stuff we've got. We've got half a stack of diamonds, that's nice. Plenty of cobblestone, of course. Let's just throw all that in there for now. Let's see what we've got iron-wise. Just over a stack and a half, so that's really good. We've got some lapis as well, I'm going to change that into blocks. We've got redstone for days, we've got tons and tons of redstone. A little bit of gold as well, which is always nice. Anyway, with these diamonds we've got, I think it's time for an upgrade. We've got enough, so uh, yeah, we might as well use them. So let's make ourselves a chest plate, let's make ourselves... Uh, some pants, let's make ourselves a little hat, and of course the boots as well. Awesome. There we go. So that's gonna that's gonna be a nice upgrade for us. We can get rid of the old uh, the old battered iron armor now. Very good. And we've got 36 levels, but uh, I don't think we're gonna enchant just yet. I think I want to make a proper enchanting room so we can get some higher level enchantments. Uh, let's put some of this stuff away. Yeah, not in there. I need to eat as well. Ooh, my last piece of salmon. I really need to get this farm working so we can have some food. But for now, let's just convert these into blocks, actually. That's what I'm going to do with this. And there we go. We have one left over, but uh, that should stack. So let's put all this stuff away. And just let's just clean up the inventory, actually, while we're here. Uh, yeah, all the iron armor's not going to fit in there. Uh, let's just shove it in here for now. The chests are getting quite full. We're going to need to work on a like a storage place at some point. But anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna finish this up. I'm gonna make it looking nice. I'm gonna do all that off camera, and then I'm just gonna show you what uh, what I end up coming up with. So I'll see you guys in just a second. And here we are. The autobahn is complete. Look at it. I think it looks nice. I think it looks really nice. I'm pretty impressed with this, actually. Considering we only have... Uh, yeah, I got blown up by a creeper, by the way. Which uh, is why I only have eight levels now. Our first death. 
But yeah, I think it looks really nice, considering we're only using two materials, which is spruce and oak. Obviously we've got a, a few flowers and lanterns and bits and bats about, but I think this looks really nice for a... Uh, there's something about the Minecraft starter style that I'm, I'm really enjoying. Let's see if any pumpkins have grown anyway. Uh, that's sugarcane. I've got plenty of that. What about... Ooh, just over a stack of pumpkins. Nice, that's really good. And I did fix the kind of lighting situation. Uh, let me show you that real quick. So if we just come round the side here... Uh, in fact, I can just zoom in. We use trapdoors. Trapdoors are going to let in light, but when they're flipped up like that, it's going to stop the pumpkins from getting stuck on the ledge. So it's kind of... Uh, that's worked out perfect for us. I do want to get this uh, the inside a little bit more organised. I think I mentioned that earlier. So we're going to do that in just a little bit. But uh, I'm eating sweet berries at the minute, which isn't the best food source. So let's grab his stuff. Ooh, I'm going to need some eggs as well, actually. Let's go to my little egg collection thing. And we've got plenty of eggs in. Awesome. So let's go and uh, make ourselves some pumpkin pie. Let's just get out of my little basement here. Let's go in here. And we should have enough for a stack of pumpkin pie. So let's do that. Uh, oh, I need to convert this to sugar. Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. And there we go. Awesome. Should have enough to make a stack here. And there we go. Renewable food source. And it's a good food source as well. So that's really, really good. It's just going to make food for us in the background while we're not doing anything. So that's going to be really awesome. I need to move these chickens. I think I'm going to put them at the side here and kind of have uh, the egg collection system connected to the barn. That way all our kind of pumpkin pie making things are all in one place. I'm going to have to kind of play around with the inside here, try and get this a lot more organised. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what we're going to do. I'm going to have to work this out a little bit. Maybe have the chickens just round here somewhere. Put, uh, put a little roof over it. I think it's going to look nice, but uh, it's night time now, so I'm going to sleep and uh, I'm going to work more on that off camera. I'm going to see what we can do. So I'll see you guys in just a second. And here we are. This is the thing near enough done. I think I want to do some landscaping, but uh, we'll do that in just a little bit. So we've got all those chickens in the side here. Kind of move them over. And if we go inside uh, the actual barn now, we've got this little sorting room here. All those eggs come in, all the sugar cane comes in here, and all our pumpkins come in here. And we've got a crafting table where we can uh, where we can craft them. I think this is cool. I'm really enjoying this. This is what I was kind of setting out to do. We use these little uh, campfires on the roof, which I think look cool. They are an absolute pain to craft. <laughs> they take so many resources, but they'll look good, so uh, I don't mind. I've repurposed the old pumpkin farm, that's going to be for a wheat farm. And where our chickens used to be, I'm going to get in some cows in here, because I'm going to need some leather. In fact, we can kind of make a little bit more space. Because I want to, we've got so much sugar cane, I want to make some bookcases, make an enchantment room. Maybe not next episode, I want to do some storage stuff, but maybe in the uh, episode after, we're going to get some uh, some enchantment rooms going, so that's going to be cool. But yeah, look at this. Uh, I'll actually show you how this works. It's not rocket science, it's definitely not any advanced redstone. It's just simple hopper chains. So if I get rid of this real quick, I can just kind of show you what's cooking behind here. So we have, uh, we have a couple of hopper chains coming down. We have one here for the sugar cane that goes down into... I don't think it goes into that hopper, actually. I think uh, what happens is it comes down and it goes into a hopper. Uh, these hoppers, that's, then there's kind of one under that block, goes into that one. And then the uh, collection system for the pumpkins comes down this hopper and it goes into that chest. So it all works and uh, everything's organised into its own chests. And I think that's really good. I'm really happy with uh, with how this turns out. Form and function together. That's kind of what I was setting out for in this series. So I'm really happy with uh, with this little project. It's, it's really cool. <laughs> now our chests are getting a bit full. We've used pretty much all of our iron again. So we're going to have to get some more. 
We have this kind of basement space as well that we can repurpose for. I'm not sure what we're going to use that for, but it's nice to have the extra space there anyway. But what I want to do next, I think I want to do some, uh, some landscaping. I also want to get some cows in here. So I think that's the first thing, actually. Go and find some cows, get them bred up with the wheat, and then we're going to be able to start making leather. And there we go. We've got ourselves some cows in here now. Just got a couple, started breeding them up. That's going to be really, really helpful for a couple of episodes' time. The wheat seems to be gr uh, growing really slow. I don't know if it's just because it's such a small farm and I'm used to having bigger ones, but... Uh, yeah, it's it's fine. This stuff's still going to grow while we're building and doing other stuff. So that's not a, a huge issue for us. I'm thinking we might get a composter, actually. Because I notice with wheat farms, you get a lot of spare seeds. And we get attacked by the prickly berry bushes again. Yeah, you get a lot of spare seeds. We've got a random slab, so we can use that. So I'm just going to use a composter as a way of getting rid of them all so we're not getting chests full of seeds. And it's going to give us a little bit of bone meal just to help grow the stuff a little bit faster. So that's going to be pretty helpful. Where can we put it? Uh, maybe maybe we'll just plonk it. Uh, oh, I've got a block there. We'll just put it there. can start composting the seeds. Awesome. All I want to do now is uh, I just want to get the kind of terraforming done and this is it nice little bit of landscaping outside the barn i think it looks really nice and it's getting night just as i'm starting to record that's very pleasant of your minecraft thank you for that <laughs> let's just jump into bed real quick and i can show you what we've been up to so yes here we go just a little bit of terraforming out front a little bit of landscaping and i really i really like what we've, this kind of feel we've got going on here there's something really charming about this kind of starter Minecraft style. I don't know what it is. It's something, it's like the the limitations we have with the early game, just having the basic kind of resources. It's kind of helping me develop this kind of new building style, which I'm really enjoying, actually. It, normally, I'll just build medieval stuff. And this is a, I suppose it's kind of medieval, but it's a little bit, Kind of a little bit old and battered shacks and sheds and you kind of got these rough bits of wood and I really like it. It's it's something I'm really enjoying actually. So uh, I think I'm going to carry on with this style for just a little bit, uh, just to get ourselves started started off. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm really enjoying this uh, this barn that I've built, the auto barn. I'm thinking next episode we're going to build something just here. Maybe like a storage shed or something. Just because my chests are starting to get a little bit full in the house and I need something to sort all that stuff out. So I might flatten this area out a little bit and build something there. But I've done everything I want to do in this episode. I think it's going to turn out to be just a little bit shorter than, uh, than my previous two. But don't worry, we've got plenty to come. And yeah, I'm going to call the episode there, guys. I'm going to start a new project next episode. So thank you very much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys all in the next episode.